BlueStacks is one of the most popular Android emulators designed to run on your Windows computer. What this does is it allows you to run your favorite Android apps and games on your PC. While this is quite a stable platform there are instances when certain issues can occur which we will be addressing today. In this latest video installment of our troubleshooting series we will tackle the BlueStacks engine won't start issue and how to fix it. How to fix BlueStacks engine won't start. Before you do any of the recommended troubleshooting steps, it's best to restart your computer first. This will refresh your computer operating system and remove any corrupt temporary data that could be causing the problem. Once the computer has fully booted up, try to check if the issue still occurs. First, disable antivirus program. One common reason why BlueStacks runs slow is because of the antivirus software you are using. To check if this is what's causing the problem you should try to temporarily disable your antivirus program. In this video, we will be turning off Windows Defender. If you are using other antivirus such as Avast, AVG, and McAfee, you can refer to the link at the description box of this video for the steps on how to turn off your antivirus program. To do this, first click on Start or Windows, then click on Settings, an icon that looks like a gear. This will open Windows Settings section. Then at the Windows Settings section, click on Update and Security. Next, at the left sidebar click on Windows Security. Then, at the Protection area of Windows Security, click on Virus and Threat Protection. Then, at the Protection area of Windows Security, click on Virus and Threat Protection. Then, at the Virus and Threat Protection, click on Manage Settings. Next, toggle off Real-Time Protection. A prompt message appears if you want to allow BlueStacks to make changes to your device. Click on Yes, check if the BlueStacks engine won't start issue still occurs. Next, change to DirectX Increase RAM setting. There are usually two engine choices when you use BlueStacks and these are OpenGL or DirectX. In case you are using OpenL then I suggest that you switch to DirectX. You should also try to increase the RAM allocation for the application. To do this, first open BlueStacks app. Then, click on the three horizontal lines on the top right corner of the BlueStacks screen. At the drop-down menu, click on Settings, an icon that looks like a gear. Then, at the Settings section, click the Engine tab at the left side. Then, at the Graphics Renderer section, select DirectX. Then click on Save. Next, restart your computer to apply changes made. After restarting your computer, check if the issue still occurred. The issue still persists, you can perform these additional steps. To do this, first open BlueStacks app. Then, click on the three horizontal lines on the top right corner of the BlueStacks screen. At the drop-down menu, click on Settings, an icon that looks like a gear. Then, at the Settings section, click the Engine tab at the left side. Then, at the Graphics Renderer section, select DirectX. Then, at the Performance section change the core number to high from the drop-down menu of CPU. Also, try a higher RAM setting. Then restart your computer to apply changes made. Click Restart Now. Next, reinstall BlueStacks. One of the factors that can cause this problem is a corrupted BlueStacks software. If this is the culprit then you will need to uninstall BlueStacks from your computer then download and install the latest version from the official website. To do this, first press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run dialog box. 
Then at the Run dialog box type appwiz.cpl and press Enter or click on OK. This will open the Programs and Features section. Next, at the Programs and Features section, scroll through the list of application and locate Bluestacks. Right-click on Bluestacks and click on Uninstall. Follow the on-screen instructions to remove the current version of Bluestacks from your system. Once the old version of Bluestacks has been uninstalled, reboot your computer. Once computer has completely reboots, go to Bluestacks website. Download the Bluestacks installer then follow the on-screen prompts to install the latest version on your system. Lastly, try reverting to a previous Windows build. In case the mentioned steps fails to fix the problem then this might be caused by an issue with the latest Windows build. You can try to revert to a previous build and see if this fixes the problem. To do this, first click on Windows or Start. Then click on Settings, an icon that looks like a gear to open Windows Settings. Then at the Windows Settings section, click on Update and Security. Click Recovery from the left pane. Then, click the Get Started button and go back to an earlier build. If this button is grayed out then you can't revert back. Once you click the Get Started button, simply follow the on-screen instructions. Check if the Bluestacks engine won't start issue still occurs. After following the methods mentioned, you have successfully fixed Bluestacks engine won't start issue. We hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell.